My god, I love that intro. Anyway guys, I'm Game Master 2000 now. Um, no, I'm doing my outro, what am I doing? Hello Game Master, I'm Game Master 2000, Stan brings you. Yes, it is another episode of Ultra Nostalgia on Friday. So, I want this to be the weekly series. Basically, this is the weekly series where I record, where I will record a nostalgia game, or an old game. It's probably not working because I haven't set it in. Game. There we go. Okay, so this is, a, this is basically a Friday series, every week, Friday, or at least it's supposed to be, where I record a nostalgic game. Work. Now, I'm sorry for the little sound glitches and everything, but the sound plugin I have for it, yes, it likes to use AAA. Darn it. The, the plugin I use for it, it kind of, um, derps out the sound. So sorry for the little sound cracks. It's gonna happen for all PlayStation 1 games I do. But, Old Nostalgia, if I've already failed to explain it before, this is basically a Friday series. I record a nostalgic game. It has to be either old or nostalgic to me. And this game is pretty freaking nostalgic because I used to play this all the time when I was young. It was one of my first PlayStation 1 games and I loved it. So, Natco Museum, which if you haven't told by the title of this video, is basically not necessarily a game, but a com a pile, a compilation of games from Natcom, and it's it's pretty cool. You should pretty ch you should check it out if you get the emulator and stuff. Boy, I'm rambling on, but so this is actually volume three in the series. There are other volumes that I'll do later, but I wanted to do volume one first, uh, volume three first, because it's the one that's most nostalgic to me and the one I play all the time. So what we're going to do in this episode, we're going to test out all the games going for the ones I hate the most. Which is Photon. If I can look at it. There we go. Which is Photon over here. I hate Photon. It's the most annoying game in history. So we're going to play the most annoying game first so that when I play the other games, I'll be over nostalgic and I will be happy to play them. So. Are you guys happy for Photon? Happy for another episode of Ultra Nostalgia on Friday? Hopefully on Friday. Because I'm recording this on Thursday. And if this is on Friday, I'm going to be mad. This better be on Friday. Photon! Okay. So Photon is basically a matching game where I have to build stuff. I basically have to build the shapes and make the shape of the other things without actually... That thing in the middle is supposed to be what shaping tools supposed to build. And I'm supposed to dodge that stupid thing. I believe it's a molecule. This game is always really annoying because they always got the most complex shapes later on. And I can never get them. Plus, this game kind of scared me when I was young. I'm not gonna lie, darn it. Oh, I have to- I can drop them, I just dropped them I'm supposed to get. Darn it, nope, that one's gone. I'm not gonna lie, this game legitimately scared me when I was young. Oh. And that's why. One hit KO, the, no the death noise is terrifying. Nope. Come on. Yes! Hey, 2010. Oh my god, it's 4010. Okay, now I'm supposed to make the large cube. I think this is where it gets tedious, because now I gotta fit them in the gap. And that molecule thing scares me, even to this day. Nope. Nope. Get them. Nope. Ugh. Come on, I just need them in. No! Mmm. Oh, that death noise. Yes! Come on. This is 
isn't working. Yes! Dope. No, you took... Stupid thing! You took it away! Star molecules. This. Yeah, we're not even doing this game with justice of a replay. We're exiting. That's basically the whole game. You go in, you try to mask the shape. It's relatively fun if you actually throw up the game, but the thing is, that game always terrified me when I was young. I don't know why, it just scared me. The fact of imminent death by molecule just frightened me. So, we're going to do another cheerful, much more cheerful game. And we're going to go to, I remember, I said it was one of my least favorites, and this card game is relatively fun. It's pole position, I believe. This one's relatively fun, but eh, it's kind of mad for me. Still, it's better than the other, the Molecule game. I can't even remember its name anymore. Oh, the other things in the station, never mind, I can't actually drive the car. I have a very vivid memory of me and my sister playing this back when we were younger. We were playing this, and it was always the most fun thing just to crash land our cars into oblivion. It froze again, gosh darn it. That also happens to the plug-in, I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do about it. Pull position, two. Okay, so, um... We're just gonna do the next one then. Now I gotta go through quite a bit of games, so I gotta. Tr I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do replays. I'm only gonna probably only gonna play through each one once, depending on how long I play it. Oh no! The controls are kind of finicky, and that's what kind of annoys me. I don't even know where my opponents are. So this is basically a racing game. Hey, there's a car. Oh, this is something. Darn it. <laughs> to oblivion. Yep, this is basically the premise of the game. It's racing. I mean, it's fun if you have another player. I mean, me and my sister used to have a blast playing this and crashing our cars into each other. <laughs> and plowing pl our cars into other characters, too. That was, that was always fun. But it was always kind of meh for me, even to this day. I can never go to a higher speed, darn it. But the music is cheerful, though, and happy. Cool, position two. Okay, so that wasn't very long. I think we'll go through Wonder. Why not? All the twists and turns. <laughs> Gotta be fast. I don't even know where my opponents are. Oh darn it. I can't control this game to save my life. Darn it, I died again. I like how the map is called Wonder, why I'm wondering why I'm doing this monstrosity of a race course. Ah, gosh darn it. Stupid control. This is why I never liked this game. I remember now. I always crashed. The premise of the game never seemed to be very fun. It's just like, I couldn't even see my opponents. I never really seen definite whether I was winning or not. It seemed like I'm just crashing all the time, and that made me think I'm losing, so. And this music plays. It was relatively cheerful, but it doesn't make me feel any better about losing.
Okay. So we already did this. So we're gonna go to another mini game. I really love the soundtrack in this thing. It's really nice. Okay, so now we did Pole Patrol Photon, that's what it's called. And now we're gonna go Tower of Drud. Darn, I can't see when it's moving. Tower of Drunga, I think. A drunja or something. So, this game's sort of like a dungeon crawler esque game. Um, you get to see these are exhibits over here, so you actually want to know more about the characters and stuff. And there's actually a whole art gallery filled with these stuff that my sister used to love um, looking at, but I'm not that kind of sort. It's like going in, playing the game, and going go gold for the gusto. And you are greeted with this monstrosity. This is pretty freaking amazing. This place also terrified me too. This is why I never really played the game. This game is hard too. I can never get the actual I can never get the actual sword to go the right way. So Tower of Drunga. Basically pretty simple. I think it's supposed to be two-player too. These, most of these games are two-player. You don't actually get to play with another character except in, um, in Pull Patrol, but you basically you get to take turns. And basically I have a time limit. I gotta get the keys, go to the door, and save the princess. Later on these slimes are my main enemy, but they'll get more difficult. There'll be electric slimes, dark slimes, and other things that will try to kill me. Die slime. Oh, I just had to hold forward. That's so much easier. Wow. I never knew I could do that. Phew. Just hold forward. What's this? Oh, I got a pickaxe. I'm gonna use it. Oh, pickaxe. Yes. Pickaxe, yes. We're playing Minecraft. And, oh, I don't have any more going. I think I just wasted it. Don't. I had so much fun with that. This is basically the game. It's a dungeon card. You gotta go get the key, Dawson the slimes, which apparently you can hold down the sword button, which I never knew when I was a kid. Wow, that made the game a whole lot easier. I wonder why I kept dying so much. Oh, and there are those things. Take too long and that thing will appear. Oh, shoot! I don't have a whole lot of time anymore. Wow. I didn't see the timer go by that fast. I gotta get the heck out of here. Click to the door. I think this is also why I never passed the game before. The stupid blue things. And they go super fast, oh my gosh! To the door, to the door, to the door. Get out of here. Victory! Okay, so we're going through the first floor without dying. That's a thing. And there are the dark slimes. Fight me! This is so much easier, oh my god. Darn, if I knew this when I, I knew I could do this when I was a kid, I might have played this more I have played this more often. This is actually really astonishing to me. And without hesitating, we head for the exit. Easy peasy. Okay, so where's everything now? And the ogres, or the knights. Whatever they are, they look really tough, and I've always been terrified of them. Everything about this game terrifies me, down to the slimes and the guards and everything. 
Hopefully Howard will not have to face the guards before the key and the door are in the same area. Out of my way, slimes. Yay! Wow, I've never actually gotten this far in the game. I was so terrible at this game before. This might very well be the game I blow all my time on. And there's a wizard. I'm dead. We got the key. Let's get the heck out of here. Let's go. Let's go, Sir Knight. And he's there. Why are you there? Faster, faster, faster. I'm out. I'm out. He's... I'm out. Yeesh. Oh, this game is actually as bad as I remember it. Nope. Thanks for that. Well, when I'm starting to actually like this game, it throws that at my face. Okay, let's wait for him. Oh, or he can just pop around randomly. Never mind. Nope. Okay, so we have our shield out. Okay, so if we face them, they can't hurt us. We have a shield. Can't hurt me. So you snuck up on my friend, got me from behind. Sneaky, sneaky. That's why I hate this game. But this is as high as I've gotten in this game, so... That actually makes me happy. So we played through that game. It took a, a good chunk of our time. So we can run like this. Whoa! So, next we have... Digadug. We have Digadug, because Digadug was really fun for me. I love that game. We just had the cheerful music, too. Of course it's glitching out here, so you guys can't hear it properly, but hey. Everything just decides to glitch when I decide to play one of my favorite games. This is one, this is gonna be in my top three favorite games in this, um, compilation games and stuff. It's good. How do you not know Dig and Doug? This game also terrified me. Let's get this straight. This is this is only really two games that didn't scare me half to death when I was a kid. It was just the imminent death of being chased by these things. Everything just scares me in this thing, but I love it anyway. Oh no, you can't escape. I'll be up there before you. Waiting. Haha. <laughs> Can't escape from me. Darn it. Why'd I walk into him? Way too eager me fever. Die. Tomato. I'm not honestly sure. These things might be tomatoes. I think they're based around tomatoes at least. Oh no, you're not escaping. I'm assuming you're a pest control person. These things are trying to kill us from having this garden. Why he's killing them? Or... Yeah, he's basically killing them. He's imploding them. Why he's killing them? It could be a more humane way to take care of it, but... In a way, they're still pests. 
maybe this is the place where these things are common, and these things like, they basically just kill like bugs the way we do them around in our universe place, whatever. These guys could basically be the equivalent to bugs. Nobody really cares about them because they're bugs, and they're just a pill called as pests. They're not really in danger of all something. Oh no you don't. I just love that uh, victory noise. It's got me one of my best favorite victory noises 2013. Although it's, it's 2014, never mind. Yeah, you'll get away. You're gonna share the same fate with your friends. Nobody lives! Here we go. This is where things get tough. Nope! I'm being ambushed. Darn it. They've learned how to ambush. But we gotta take care of these guys first. They're gonna kill me. Nope. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you thought you can escape? Nope. Oh no. Ha! -ha. No escape for you. You all die. Oh no, 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 don't. Don't do that. Ugh. Should I just stay on the surface and wait for them to come to me? Is that a valid option? Die. You must die too. Nope, get him, yes! Next time I get hit, it's over, but I don't care. And they're doubles. Nope. Nope. He's dirt. They're ambushing. This is it. This is it. This is it. Nope. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Oh, darn it. Why did I go up? Why did I go up? And that's Digga Dug. High score. Go for the world record now. Yeah. Triple A. Car insurance. Continue? Um, no. No, I wanna leave. No. I wanna leave. Let me leave. Scream. No. Reset. Yes. Okay, there we go. Sorry, Digga Doug. You were fun, but I gotta give the other game some justice. We're already in 25 minutes. So we got two more games and a very special surprise I want to show you guys. It's very muy bueno. I just love this soundtrack. It's amazing. Of course, if it didn't glitch, then that would be nice. Okay. So our next game on our list is... Miss Pac-Man! Yeah! So... I am partial to the original Pac-Man one, but this one feels... This one game feels me so much nostalgia. And right when you rock in, you're greeted with this. Can we dance? <laughs> Just listen to this music. How can you not dance? <sighs> of course, if it didn't glitch out, it'd be nice, but hey. And this toilet guy, look. <laughs> I'm assuming this is Mr. Pac-Man, the guy I'm playing, which is kind of weird, because... 
it just feels me so much nostalgia, because it's always reminding me of my dad for some reason, I don't know why. <laughs> this is him sitting on the toilet and we really walk in. This must be Miss this must be Pac-Man's dad. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, sing it, Pac Miss Pac-Man. Are we Pac-Man's son? You know what, there are Pac-Man's son, and that could be Pac-Man in the toilet. Makes sense. And now without further ado, let's play the game. Oh god, this is so nostalgic. The nostalgia is coming in. It's very special Boy Bueno stuff. Nostalgia. So, um, let's start the game. It's very straightforward. It's Miss Pac-Man, the female counterpart to Pac-Man. This is one of my mom's favorite games from this little comp compilation. I can't pronounce that right, darn it. We even have the Pac-Man Championship Edition. I did a live stream on it a while back, and I just wasted that, darn it. Darn it, get back here. All must be eaten by Pac. Nope. Out. I mean, if Pac-Man Championship Edition and Championship Edition, they give the option of bombs. If you get caught, you can give out bombs. I guess it's kind of fair when you've got like 30 ghosts chasing after you. Oh darn it, nope. Nope. Walker, 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 come on. All on the walker, walker, yes! Okay, let's get the last little dots going. We can do this. Yes! Didn't lose a life. Okay, save the big dots for later. You gotta, you gotta give homage to the person, um, to Natcom for creating such an awesome game. And I can't remember the person, the name of the person who did develop this originally. I should know that, it's a shame. Darn it. And now his creation killed me because I didn't know its creator's name. I'm sorry. How can I not know the creator of Pac-Man? Yeesh, that should be Gaming 101. I'll put it flashing on the screen somewhere. If I remember. Which I probably won't. Don't expect to be flashing on the screen. Nope, 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 okay, I'll, flash it. I'll put it on the screen, please, don't kill me. I'll put it on the screen, okay? Okay, okay, yes! Strawberry, 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 strawberry. Yes! Strawberry power! Okay, we can do this. Nope. Put the hold on, nope. We did it! Now going for the ghosts, we're just gonna get the dots. Yay. And now we're at level 2. Or level 3 actually, but I always started at stage 2 because it was different. It was actually as far as I ever made it. Oh, no! Darn it. Yep, it's Pac- it's Miss Pac-Man, not much to say about it. I might actually do Pac-Man Championship just on my channel. That would be nice. Orange skinny. Okay, we can get the dots. Aha, screw you, Blinky, if your name, whatever, darn it. Red guy. Okay, I already, I always just the upper top failure, the one where they spawn at the dangerous area. That was always the place for it to not to go, but now that I'm here, I can just I'll gobble down the dots. And I just die one more time, I'm dead. Well, if I die one more time, I'm dead. Logic. You know what? Go low. Oh, they hate comments. Darn it, no, 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 I didn't mean it. 
So apparently Pinky does not like YOLO. Okay, so your name is Blinky. I should really know these guys' names. Why do I not know the ghost's names? Darn it. Pinky, uh, y obvious. Inky, the blue guy, okay. And Sue. Okay, so now that I know their names, starring as Pac-Man. Nope, we're exiting. And now we're off to our last game. My favorite game for this compilation of games. Darn it, I didn't mean to go back in. Darn it, no, 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 please. Okay, now we're off to my favorite game in the compilation of games. Compilation, whatever it's called, darn it. I don't care. Running in it over 30 minutes, come on. Toilet guy. That's my dad. Oh. Like this, in like Flint. With the most epic arena ever. This is Galactica, or Galax, Galax, and Galax, Galaxy stuff. Galaxy stuff, yeah. Uh, I should really know these guys' names, I'm so sorry. People are just gonna hate me for not knowing. I played this game so much. I'm sorry, I'm rusty. Okay. Galactic Pixel. Galactic Pixel. Galactic Pixels. So yeah, it's basically your shooter game. You shoot the bugs and... You shoot the bugs and you win. That's all you need to know. Pretty straightforward game. That's the, that's the amazing part about these games. They're compelling it so simple at the same time. I can't even move upward. So, I think the red guys are the guards, the purple ones, yep, took down the mothership, the yellow ones are motherships. Um, the red guys are the, I believe, the back of the guards, they're the main guards in charge of protecting the mothership. Darn it. Um, the blue guys are basically the foot soldiers, so nobody cares about them if they die. Nope, take them all the ships. Nope. I hate when they try to suicide me. Come on. Nope. Don't. Nope. Die. Why is it difficult to kill these things? Come on, they're just sprites! Animated sprites in a moving game program to code. It's absolutely very terrifying when you think about it. I think I got rid of the mothership. And this is where they start ambushing me. Just like, our mothership is dead. We will ambush him. Don't you... Well, at least I got rid of the other guy. Oh, last guy. There we go. He's dead. I lost both my ships. No. And basically, it's like this. It gets harder every time. This is the one I played the most. And it's so, not the so simple one, too. It's so simple and... Oh, right, then don't kill me. It's so simple yet so... And compelling at the same time. Shoot the bugs, take care of the mothership. Because those are bugs, if you don't, darn it! Darn it. Oh, we're already well over our time. I think that's all the time we have for Galactics. So, that last little special thing I wanted to show you, there is also a library and a movie theater here. 
The movie theater is sort of an easter egg, but the library you get to look up on all the kind of things, because this place is a museum, essentially. It's showcasing all the games, you get to like play the games, the original counterparts, the games themselves, and you can get these little exhibits over here. I probably should explain this thing to you at the beginning of the video, but hey, if you, you'll only get to know this very exclusive information if you watch it to the end. Watch the at the end, get exclusive information. So, I think this way, one of these ways is the movie theater. No, oh, okay, it's this way, yeah, it's the only way with the door. Don't really know where the, who the lady in the picture is. Probably another game. Yeah. So this is the library, we're gonna check out the library first. This library area, if you look at the little things over here, you get the concept art of some of the games illustrations over here. Basically, I'm not going to go through all of it. You get to look at all the stuff from the game. You get to look at all the pictures and the illustrations. Some of the full of fun facts and some other things like the Tower of Drunga. I think the most they have here is the Tower of Drunga. You can look at the other stuff if you actually get the game from the PlayStation 1 or download it from another place. Like Cool Rom. And this way is the movie here. Sort of like a little Easter egg. You get to watch cutscenes here or something. I never really interacted much with this place, except I like to watch all the, um, characters. Like, here's Pac-Man, and the Pac-Man family. My family, I guess, if I'm playing them. This is a, another ghost, I'm assuming from Pac-Man, who has arms. Dig Dug Tomato. A mouse from another game. Yeah, oh, they all have arms, never mind. And this is basically it. An old Easter egg. If you want to, you can watch, um... You can watch ads and other stuff in the game. So that's all I really have to show you guys. This is a game that's very nostalgic for me, and that's why I started with the third one first. I will be covering all the other volumes, at least they're like five. And I hope you guys did are super hyped up for Ocean Nostalgia almost every Friday. I'm not going to commit to it being a weekly series, but it will be a series that will be uploaded on Fridays. So to that. Look forward to it. And I'm running just about 40 minutes here. Anyway guys, I'm Game Master 2000, and I will see you guys later. Want to see more of these videos, like and subscribe. Become a Gilmer today, and leave a like for the hype for Ode to Nostalgia. Peace.